Hey everybody, I just wanted to share a devotional with you from the book of Proverbs. I've been going through Proverbs and this verse just really stood out to me. So here it is. Anxious fear weighs down the heart, but a good word cheers it up. Growing up at the dinner table, my parents had a rule that their children needed to eat at least some of everything that was on the table. Much to my dismay, that included boiled spinach, spinach and Brussels sprouts. Without eating what was called a no thank you portion, there was never any hope of dessert. As a kid, I didn't understand this rule. I thought it was mean to make us eat things that to me didn't taste good. But now I get it. My parents cared about me enough to make me eat what was good for me, not what I thought was good for me. They knew that I needed to take care of my body and give it rich, healthy food. And that lesson is also true about other things in life. Good things need our care. In our verse this week, we learn that truth again. When it comes to our hearts, there are things that help us and there are things that hurt us. So we should take care of our hearts. How? Well, let's see what this verse has to say. Focusing on the heart, our verse gives us a contrast between what's good for it and what's bad for it. So let's start with what's bad for it. That's anxious fear. This word is used other places in the Old Testament, like Joshua 22, Jeremiah 49, and Ezekiel 4, to talk about stress or worry or things that make us afraid. You've probably felt anxious fear. Maybe the night before a big test, you're nervous about how it's going to go. Or speaking in front of people, you're scared you might say something wrong or people won't like it. Or going somewhere new, you're nervous because you don't know how it will be or what will happen. I think we can all agree. There's a lot in life that can make us feel anxious fear. When we feel anxious fear, our hearts are weighed down. That's what this verse tells us. The heaviness sets in. That sinking feeling reminds us that something is not right. That's anxious fear, and it's bad for us. But what about what's good for us? Contrasting anxious fear, this proverb tells us that good words cheer us up. Did you notice how our feelings go up and down? Stress and fear bring us spiraling downward, while good words bring us cheerfully upward. What does this mean? Since this verse is in a section of verses talking about our speech, I think here we're being taught how to use words. While certain words and truths make us afraid, there are words that encourage us, make us happy, and give us hope. The word good is from the Hebrew word tov which is the main word used in Genesis to describe the good, healthy, and flourishing world that God made. All that is tov promotes, creates, or protects life because it's pleasing and right in God's eyes. Good words have encouragement, kindness, and wisdom in them. If our hearts are to be cheered up, we need the right perspective on life which is found in the most perfect word of all, Jesus Christ. You guys know John 1, 1, the word dwelled among us and became flesh. We need the Bible. We need to know that God loves us in Jesus, that he cares for us and always does the right thing no matter what, Genesis 18, 25. So what should we do? In all our words, we should speak what is good. I'll say that again. In all our words, we should speak what is good. Talking often about who God is and what he tells us in his word is the good life of following Jesus. I hope that's an encouragement to you. And I just suggest that if you'd like to pray together or or, um, however you are, I suggest that we can ask Jesus to grow us in being people who use good words in our speech. And if you're talking about this with your family, maybe you can talk through what it would look like for your family to use good words and how that would maybe change the way that your family relates to each other. 
And also, we can pray that God would give us opportunities to live out these good words, to use good words in whatever context we're in, at school or at work or with our friends, hanging out, whatever it is. May our speech be filled with good words, because anxious fear weighs down the heart, but a good word cheers it up. Take care.